All right, right now we are just hours away from the pricing of Facebook's IPO. It is going to be the largest tech offering in history. Our next guest says this stock in the next five years will double in value to $200 billion. We are joined right now by one of the elder statesmen in the venture capital world. It is our pleasure to welcome Dixon Dahl, co-founder and general partner at VC firm DCM. He has more than 35 years experience in the industry, considered one of the top venture investors. And still, of course, with us, we have Todd Schoenberger, our guest host for the day. Anyway, welcome to you, Dixon. Welcome to Street Smart. Tell us It's ni why. nice to be with you, Trish and Adam. <laughs> why? Are you so confident that Facebook is valuable right now? It's a uh, once in a lifetime company and it's truly transformative and uh, very exciting and uh, it's going to do a lot of amazing things. There's just no question that it will join the, the likes of uh, Google, Amazon and uh, uh, Apple as one of the most important uh, companies uh, in the world uh, over the next uh, five to ten years. And there are a lot of, uh, you know, uh, aspects of their strategy that they're still uh, evolving and that they haven't worked out yet. But uh, this is a great team and, uh, and it has a critical mass, uh, the likes of which we haven't seen in many, many years. Mm. But Dixon, what about all the criticism about the company's perceived inability to really monetize its, its user base. I mean, they, they just haven't been able to do it thus far. So a lot of people feel like this valuation, this number that's being put on this company is really all a bet on the future. And it's not clear really whether they're going to get to that future. Let me be clear. I think the valuation that it'll come out at uh, tonight is, uh, you know, is fully valued. Uh, make no mistake about that. But I think the opportunities that uh, they haven't really tapped yet are, uh, are massive. Mobile is uh, one of the most uh, rapidly growing and explosive trends uh, in the world, not just in the U.S. these days. It's in the very early days of that. They admit freely that they haven't figured it out, and I'm sure that they will eventually. Big spending brands are going to experiment with Facebook until they get it right. They'll play um, different uh, tests to uh, evaluate uh, the uh, optimal uh, ad strategies for uh, very, various screen sizes like cell phones and iPads. And uh, I think they'll go into new businesses uh, very much like uh, the deals business that Groupon is in. And um, I think uh, somebody needs to also look at uh, when you're evaluating their future growth prospects, uh, there are a number of countries out there in the world now where they are not allowed to operate. So that would be another uh, issue that I would look at carefully. Those, some examples of those would be China and Iran and Syria and North Korea. And who knows how many other countries might uh, choose to ban Facebook if uh, there are social upheavals in those countries. Dixon, you just mentioned some numbers and you're, you're an ultimate numbers guy. So let me just walk us through valuation. So it trades at, let's say, make the numbers easy, 25 times sales. Google trades at five times sales. In order for the stock to double from here and ultimately have the same valuation as Google, in effect, it's going to have to up its sales by 10 times just to look uh, like Google three, four years from now. How's it going to do that? Uh, it's, it's going to do that uh, very deliberately, and I, I don't think that uh, that, that is a, an unrealistic uh, estimate. I've watched a lot of IPOs over the years here, including Apple, Google, Amazon, and Baidu, and I think uh, it's very important to point out that uh, there was only one of those four stocks that didn't actually retreat after its IPO, so that uh, people that are looking at this thing need to make their own decision about that. Uh, Google uh, did actually go up uh, very significantly after its IPO. It's roughly a 10 or 12x uh, now from what it came out at, and it actually never did go down. But Google, everybody with the benefit of hindsight would say that Google was, uh, was underpriced at the time when it came out certainly in relation to this one, for sure. Yeah, Dixon, one of the things that concerns me is that there seems to be such a retail appetite, but not as much of an institutional appetite for this one. I mean, it, a lot of smart <coughs> investors that we're talking to, and, and you're obviously not in this group because you're a real fan of the company, but a lot of investors are saying 
They're going to rent this stock. They're not going to buy it to own. They think it's going to do well in the very near future. And part of that's because you've got every mom and pop investor out there saying, oh, I know this company. I understand this company. I want to be part of this. Um, <coughs> and so forgive me. The expectation is, is that they'll go out and buy. That'll give the stock a pop. But long term, people have their doubts. Uh, let me just be very clear here. I'm uh, I'm not commenting on the uh, the short-term <laughs> opportunities for uh, getting the IPO and flipping it. I'm talking about a long-term buy and hold strategy, and um, and I think retail investors uh, seldom uh, get this kind of an opportunity uh, to come along, and so patience is going to be required. You're going to have to have a lot of trust in the uh, management and the board of this company, but. Uh, those are the kinds of uh, bets that uh, smart investors uh, you know, have to make. And I feel really confident about uh, the positives outweighing the negatives uh, with respect to Facebook. All right, we're going to let. OK, never mind. No, no, I want to hear it. Go ahead. I was just going to say, I, one point that needs to be made here is if, if it only needs to, if Facebook only goes up uh, 5x from where it comes out now, uh, it'll be uh, the uh, biggest market cap company, uh, it'll be bigger than Apple, and I think people need to, to think about that. And that's, yeah. uh, that's going to be um, definitely possible for them to do, but it isn't going to happen quickly and it won't be easy. But I think it's a realistic uh, uh, bet to make, yeah. and so, okay. I, so I was talking about a double in the next five years. Wow. All right. Our thanks to you, Dixon Dahl, co-founder and general partner at VC firm DCM.